Yes, I'm working on the blanket that I talked about some time back. And I'm sewing all the squares together. Usually when I get to this point, I gotta make sure that that's not flapping up. I'm no uh, seamstress, master seamstress, but I'm not a master of anything. I'm a jack of all trades, meaning I have taught myself, self-taught pretty much, just by jumping in with both feet and doing, and you learn by your mistakes. what makes life fun, don't you think? Just jumping in, both feet, get your hands dirty. Get your hands dirty. Let's see. Now, unfold this. Now if this was a dress, what you would want to do is stitch this down with a stitching such as that. But this is a patch quilt and this isn't going to be seen at all because something's going to be a blanket and a backing is going to be sewn. Uh -oh. And so we aren't going to see it. But as I'm putting these down, I do, I might, it, this fabric seems to stay down pretty good. Uh, I might not need to press it. I might not need to press it. That's, I've, been working on that in between um, yeah you cut your squares first then you pin pin them together actually you don't have to pin them together um, and then you start sewing these and then you make then you have to de designate how they're gonna be as far as the pattern goes and then you start making panels and then you sew the panels together how I started doing this a long time ago is I had extra, a bunch of extra fabric from other, other um, projects. And what do you do with those extra fabrics? Well, you'd make a patchwork quilt. Or you can use old jeans or clothes that might have a stain on it. You know, it's not even good enough to go to um, a Goodwill or something like that. And you just cut out the good portions of the fabric in two little squares and start sewing yourself a blanket. So update on how this is going. It's going slow, <laughs> but it's going. <laughs> 